This episode of Life Hacker is brought to you by Busted Tees. Welcome to Life Hacker. You've stumbled onto our infamous evil episode. This week we're all about getting in touch with our dark sides. We're gonna learn all about how to pick locks, lie, cheat, and steal our way to a perfect flight, defeat workplace food thieves, and a whole lot more. Proceed at your own risk, and let's get started. We've all been in situations that we really just wish we could escape from, whether it's a blind date gone afoul or a dinner with the in-laws you would rather not be at. You could have a friend set up a bailout call ahead of time, or if you'd rather not involve anyone else, you could use a service like Rescue Me. Just text the word call and the time you want to be called to a specific number, and it'll ring your phone on demand. Then you can just come up with some lame excuse. Sorry, I have to take this. Hello? Hey! In our previous evil episode, we demonstrated how to crack a master combination padlock. This time around, we're gonna look at how to pick your standard pin lock. These are the kind of locks that you'll find indoors. It's got just the regular key that inserts in and you turn with the teeth along it. So to do that, you need to know a little bit about how the mechanism works. Essentially, you've got a series of pins that goes across the locking mechanism in the middle, and you need to bump all those pins up until they're lined up across the top and it allows the lock to turn. So to pick a lock, you will need a torsion wrench, like this, and a pick like this. Essentially, it's a pretty simple thing to do, even disturbingly simple. You put the torsion wrench in the lock at the bottom, you apply a little bit of pressure, and then you put your, your pick inside, and you just start bumping the pins up. Work one pin up at a time, and when you get all the pins up to level at the front, you can turn the lock. And frighteningly, that is all there is to it. Uh, Use this knowledge for good and for a greater understanding of your security, and please do not break into my house. Traveling is great, and flying maybe not so much, but there are a few ways you can lie, cheat, and steal your way to a perfect flight if you're willing to employ some flexible ethics. There's a limited amount of space on the plane for carry-on baggage, so you want to make sure your bag always has a spot. There are a couple of things you can do. First of all, get in line behind the boarding group ahead of you. So you are the first in line in your boarding group. It's okay to get in line even when you're not called, just make sure you're behind the last person so you don't get caught. If you're willing to take a few more risks, you can Photoshop your boarding pass so you're in the boarding group ahead of you, or you can just fake an injury so you can board with the people who need special assistance. Wi-Fi on a plane is pretty awesome, but it's also a little bit pricey. If you want to save a few bucks, you just need to disguise your laptop as a mobile device. To do this, you need a browser that can set a browsing agent. Safari can do this, so can Firefox. You just need to set your browser agent to an iPhone or an Android device, sign up for Wi-Fi through whatever provider's on the plane, and then it will give you that discount. When you're done and you're signed up and you're online, you can switch it back to being a laptop and browse like normal, only you just won't be paying as much. One of the most annoying things on a flight is when someone reclines their seat into your already very limited space. But you can prevent that with a plastic bottle. All you have to do is lower your tray and wedge a bottle in between the tray and the seat in front of you so that there is no room for it to go down. That way when they try to recline, the bottle will stop them. Finally, and only use this one in case of emergency, you can break into an airplane lavatory by lifting up the lavatory sign and flipping a little switch. That's all you have to do, it will let you in. Kind of scary thought that it's that easy to get into the lavatory, but you know, just don't do it when you're not supposed to. Those are a few of our favorite tricks if you want to learn how to deal with a bad passenger or hack a URL to get a better seat that you're not supposed to have for free, you can hit up the link on your screen for more information. This week on Life Hacker, we got in touch with our evil sides. For starters, Jason Chen showed you how to shop at Costco and Sam's Club without a membership. Discount clubs are great if you need to buy a bunch of things in bulk, but they're not always worth the membership fees, especially if you only shop there every few months. If you know someone who is already a Costco member, just ask them to buy a bunch of $10 gift cards. 
The gift cards will get you in the door, and you can simply pay cash for the remainder of your bill. If you don't know anyone who's a member, you can still shop at Costco, as long as you're willing to pay a 5% surcharge. Next up, Woodson showed you how to transmit your music to annoying neighbors' speakers. You need a CB radio, a linear amp, and a bottom-loaded CB antenna, and you'll be able to transmit your voice or any audio to their speakers, even if they're turned off. Just remember, these are your neighbors, and you'll probably have to live next to them for the foreseeable future. There's also this pesky organization called the FCC that might not be terribly happy with your transmission, so proceed at your own risk. Finally, if you're a heavy YouTube user, then you should check out YouTube Link Title. It's a user script that works in Firefox, Chrome, and Safari, and allows you to see the video's title and thumbnail just by hovering your mouse over a YouTube URL. You can even watch the video without leaving the current page. You'll never get rickrolled again. One of the things that really sucks about working in an office is if you've got a food thief stealing your lunch. Now, this isn't the nicest thing that you could possibly do, but if you put a few laxatives in your sandwich, then when they steal it and eat it, then they'll come down with explosive diarrhea. Now, this is particularly evil, so you might not want to do it, but if you've tried other methods and you haven't gotten anywhere, just remember, a little laxative goes a long way. Hacker, I'm Callie Lewis from GeekBeat. So there are a lot of these services that are location-based that will track you or anyone in the world. Some of them could be used for really good purposes, but they could be used for evil purposes. I've been playing with one called Life360. It is awesomely scary. So its intended purpose is actually to keep the family safe, to you know have parents have their kids check in at a party so if something does go wrong, they know where to go. Or if you're stranded on the side of the road, you know that somebody will come get you. But the thing that makes Life360 different from other services is that once a device is set up, to be part of your family, you can go back and track that person's whereabouts for every 15 minutes of the day without them knowing anything. It doesn't give them alerts. So, you know, if she said that she was out hanging out with the girls last night, you could tell otherwise. Now, Life360 requires that you have that person's device and a password to install the app. But if you don't have that information, there are other options. Another great stalking tool is called Creepy, and it is just that. All you need is a username on Flickr or Twitter or Foursquare, and you can track a person, basically where you can see where they hang out the most and where they've been. Lots of great stalking tools, lots of well, more information than you would ever need to know. <laughs> you can find out more about the topic at lifehacker.com, and you can find more of me at geekbeat.tv. I'm Callie Lewis. Bye. Let's take a moment to thank this week's sponsor, Busted Cheese. Whether you're into movies, video games, science fiction, or just wrapping your torso with something weird, Busted Tees literally has you covered. You've probably seen a Busted Tee or two pop up in movies or TV shows, and now you can grab one for yourself. Head on over to BustedTees.com right now to find the shirt of your dreams, no matter how bizarre, hilarious, or frightening those dreams may be. Be sure to enter the promo code LIFEHACKER at checkout. You'll get 10% off an order of an awesome t-shirt, and you'll be supporting our show. It's a win-win. This week on YouTube, I demonstrated how to use the cross-platform program Wireshark to easily sniff out usernames, passwords, and cookies sent over insecure HTTP connections from any computer connected to the same network as you. A lot of sites like Facebook and Gmail have turned on HTTPS by default for all connections, but there are a ton more that don't. Twitter, for example, supports HTTPS, but it's not turned on by default for anything but logins. Be sure to enable secure logins and connections, or even better, use a VPN or SSH proxy to avoid the problem entirely. Check out the full post on the site for details on how this sniffing works and how to protect yourself from it. We feature a lot of projects here that probably void the warranty of your devices, whether it's rooting your Android phone, jailbreaking your iOS device, or even installing a custom firmware on your camera or router. 
But just because you voided your warranty doesn't mean you can't still trick those companies into giving you service when your device breaks. For example, say you've rooted your phone or jailbroke in your iOS device and it starts having hardware problems that really aren't related to the root or jailbreak. You can just unroot it or unjailbreak it and take it in and no one will be the wiser. However, if you've rooted it and, you know, bricked it or actually caused some sort of problem because of your hack, then you can kind of just play dumb when you go into the store. Take it in and say, oh, the screen won't turn on, I don't know what happened and they'll usually replace it for you without a problem. So what do you do with all that money you save on extended warranties? Set it aside. Anytime someone asks you if you want to buy an extended warranty, say no and put that money in a separate cash. Then, when a device breaks down and you do have to replace it, you have money set aside to do so. Hit the link to see some of our favorite warranty voiding hacks. All right, it's time for the downloads of the day. Let's see what we've got. First up is one that Callie already mentioned for Windows and Linux. If you've ever wondered how much anyone could track you based on information embedded in geolocation services like Foursquare, Twitter, and Flickr, free app Creepy will show you by aggregating GPS coordinates for any user pointing out their most frequent hangouts on a map. It's, well, creepy. If you have data you actually want to keep private, Ben the Bodyguard can do that on your iPhone. Just provide Ben with any info you don't want to share and he'll lock it down. This is probably the most charismatic security app you're ever going to find, by the way. Finally, you can turn your desktop to the dark side with our evil wallpaper pack. We made a few of our own, but also dug up some of the best online to give you plenty to choose from. And that is it for this time. Please use your newfound powers for good and not evil, unless someone really deserves it. We'll see you next time.